Welcome back to Otaku No Video as always. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to talk fantasy. We're going to talk Lotos. We're going to talk Grand Crest. We're going to talk about an upcoming anime series called Record of Grand Crest War. And this is a sort of typical D&D fantasy type story from what I've understood. But here's the backstory. Grand Crest War is written by uh, a person with quite a lot of, um, shall we say, cred in the anime world. Written by uh, Ryo Mizuno, Mizuno, excuse me, who is the writer of another anime series called Record of Lotus War. Now he also worked on Galaxy Angel, Legend of Cristania, Louis the Rune Soldier, Starship Operators, um, Sorcerer Stabber Orphan. If you remember that from back in the day. And um, he wrote this adaptation of what's actually a tabletop RPG campaign. So basically a D&D campaign. It wasn't, it wasn't technically D&D they were playing, but a similar game. And it was this very typical fantasy RPG campaign of a group of adventurers going out. And you have your you know, lone hero and the cleric and the elf and all that stuff. And he wrote those up as a as fiction these sort of campaign diaries and it was known as the record of lotus war and that turned into several anime adaptations manga uh, a whole franchise out of the record of lotus war very very popular including several spin-off sort of sub franchises in the same world legend of castania and rune soldier louis are all also set in that universe just different parts of it so that's really cool, and um, he has since been writing a new project called um, uh, Record of Grand Crest War. Now, I'm still digging in. I haven't found out yet whether Grand Crest War is in the Lotos universe, but it looks very similar. And looking at the, uh, the art style and the, uh, the visuals and so forth, it looks like it, it could be like Lotos adjacent. It could be like it's in the same world, but none of those, you know, it's a different continent, different area. We'll, we'll see. And this anime was actually announced a while back, but we now have, you know, visual and information on who's going to be working on it and so forth. So it's, it's more real than it was. The backstory, it's, uh, it takes place on a continent ruled by chaos. The chaos breeds disaster. But the lords of the continent have the power of Crest, Holy Seal, that can calm the chaos and protect the people. However, before anyone realizes it, the rulers cast aside their creed of purifying the chaos and instead start to fight each other for each other's crests and to gain dominion over one another. The story centers on Shiruka, an isolated mage who scorns the lords for abandoning their creed, and a wandering knight named Theo, who is on a journey to one day liberate his hometown, which is under tyrannical rule. Shiruka and Theo make an everlasting oath, blah 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 blah. Um, this is, it is kind of interesting. Shiruka and Theo make an oath as master and servant, so it's not the typical, you know, uh, two people who don't really care about each other, or two people kind of thrown together by circumstance, and are kind of constantly sniping at each other and only working together because they have to. Like, they have sworn master-servant relationship. Um, and they're going to work together to reform the continent from evil rulers. A pretty typical concept. Um, but it sounds like an interesting thing. I believe they said the, the eighth volume of the light novel series recently dropped in Japan, um, actually a few months ago. So there's certainly plenty of material out there, and that's good. That means they could do a 26 episode series and have plenty of content between those all those novels. So we'll see how that goes. And um, uh, here's hoping that will uh, uh, really develop nicely. Now to be clear, uh, the writer here did not conceive Lotos War. He basically adapted those campaign diaries into the fiction of Lotos War, which was then adapted into anime and manga and so forth. This is his original story. And that's what makes it kind of interesting, is that we're getting somebody who is, um, who 
molded these existing characters into iconic characters. Um, Deedlet. The others. Um, um, I'm trying to remember all the characters' names, and a lot of them are... are, are I'm forgetting at the moment. But uh, was it Pyrotess is the Dark Elf? Anyway, uh, this was certainly a, a, an iconic anime series in a, in a, for fantasy back in the 90s. It was one of the, and arguably the one, you know, traditional Tolkien-esque fantasy franchises in anime in the 90s. And the, so the person who really established those characters now telling his own story, and now we're going to see an anime version of that. Um, as I mentioned in the news, the director is the director is Mamoru Hatakayama, who directed Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju, the anime series about a guy who does traditional Japanese comedy, and uh, Sankaria Undying Love. Uh, also worked on a bunch of other stuff, uh, looking for things that he. I mean, he he's done storyboards and he worked on the uh, the campus OVA. Um, episode director on Fee Brain, Madoka Magica, actually, uh, directed episode four. He also, let's see here, um, series director on one of the Rosen Maiden uh, anime series, and what else? Do, 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 do. Uh, worked on some other stuff and some hentai. A lot of hentai, actually. That's interesting. So, let's see how etchy this series gets. That's remarkable. Uh, otherwise, interesting stuff. The other interesting thing about this series is that the writing is being handled by both the original writer of the light novels and a tabletop RPG writer. So somebody who writes stuff for tabletop RPGs. What's still unclear about that, and I'll, I'll try to do some digging to find out, but let me see if there is any notes on that person's name. Um, let's see here. Shunsaku Yano is this tabletop RPG writer. And in tabletop RPGs in Japan, often they will publish essentially campaign logs as samples of play. So one of the ways you understand how the game works is to read a playthrough essentially of the game or of a, an adventure in the campaign written as more or less a novel. And um, I don't know anything else about Shinsaku Yano. I haven't heard... Anything else he's done? That's, this is his only credit on ANN. So we will see where that goes. Um, but it's interesting to bringing in tabletop RPG writers, not typical anime writers, on this project. So here's hoping it's interesting. It's cool to see a more traditional fantasy concept done in anime. And here's hoping it's yeah, yeah. Here's hoping it's interesting. I can speak words. Thanks for watching. See you soon.